Welcome back to the channel. Let's see if we can get this mess to five stars. If you're new here, you might want to check out the previous videos in the playlist. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, just bringing you back because I'm going to build a T Rex and maybe a Velociraptor exhibit. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to plonk them down in the middle of here. And we'll get rid of these flipping trees that nobody asked for. I'm doing some research. As you can see, it's coming to an end. I'm basically just using up everything. That's coming back soon, so that's fine. Right, so what we're going to do is create a pen or a T-Rex. Now, obviously, T-Rex, not the friendliest, you know, as a tree. And that should be plenty big enough for the T-Rex. Best thing now is we don't have to worry about when things die. Because it's not going to fail the mission. Now we can just concentrate on making a park. Which is obviously exactly what we want to do. So what we will do is check the... Modify it so it looks a bit better. I say a bit better. There's pretty much nothing we can do about it. Um, should we just sleep it up a little bit? She's a bit expensive, so a bit of four million dollars. That's gone down to seventy-five percent, but we can success rate the crap out of it. That should be fine. That's four million good. We're not going to see that. Uh, expeditions, send them out again. Raptors, although I'm still undecided if I'm going to bother with them. Probably going to have to, though. Research is available. Let's do the other bits of research we've got. Kicking about. What's our star rating looking like at the moment? We're doing alright. What we do once we put the uh, thing in, that'll be fine. Right, so T-Rex needs a bit of water because it needs to drink. Needs that like the feeders. I've got fancy feeders. When these feeders run out, I'll be replacing them with the high capacity feeders. Because then we won't get yelled at every five minutes to go and fix them. to do is give some visibility but also you know protect a couple of people on there. I'll put oops uh, this on this side That's the 
Now we're looking. Got a bit of spare, we did right. We're gonna plonk down rocks. Expedition's back. Extract the bejesus out of some of these. Send them out again because we can and we've got oodles of cash. Finish some research. Oh, half of that is pointless. Half it, more of it's pointless than half of it, but whatever, I'm not gonna argue about that. Uh, let's finish this landscape then. Looks a bit boring, doesn't it? Let's do something about that. Uh, I do like to create like a little rocky, rocky outcropping around the water because there has to be a reason the water is just sitting there. And obviously, generally, it's because we can put it there, but that's not the point. Where is this place? We can put it like. It's almost like it's just carried on. Got it. How did it in? T Rex nearly done. Expeditions are nearly done. Research, oh, I might as well. I don't want them, but you know. I mean, technically, you just get rid of the paid air bottom of these. Pain in the arm. Now, when you put a T Rex in here, they're actually generally quite happy. Um, they don't care about anything. The Velociraptors actually will be the same. It just depends if we end up with a slight issue. You're probably going to have capacity issues. Uh, this figure, look, is, it would help. Maybe it was a bit higher. Dinosaur is ready to reduce. They are loaded a little T Rex. Not so little, obviously. Depends what you compare it to, I suppose. Little compared to Mount Everest. Or A380. Anyway. So loud. Very loud. Especially when you're wearing headphones. And she goes for some water. Tranquilize her just a touch. And we'll put some What am I doing? What why why did it why did it do? Cover that up there. And we'll cover this bit. Oh no, probably not in that corner because that corner's the gate. That would be annoying. And a hefty feeder. This one. Right there. Are we done over here? It's not usually that difficult to tranquilize two rooms in a confined space. But here at over there. Oh, and what do you know? Freaking storm warning. Just I'm about to bloody move a T Rex. Right? Open up all the shelters. Just because it means people get less pissed off. Like in general. I feel that I need to pop that. There she comes. You would go right over the ACU, wouldn't you, like an arsehole? Oi! See, 
this is why I should have done that trick. And I haven't done the trick. I'm an idiot. Just move backwards. <laughs> they get pulled back or that's really strange. Funny. Okay. Oh, it's just such a pain now. So we can hurry up and go away. My fences. Yes, yes, there is that one. There are dinosaurs. Oh, how in the fuck did you get out again? He didn't even come down here. What in the? Right, okay, one, another one. Please do come and try and grab these dinosaurs. That makes no sense. Tornado, no way. No sense whatsoever. So, what's broken that's stopping the... Oh, it's the actual thing. Acknowledging request for repair crew. Task received. Request received. Responding to repair. Adding task. T-Rex? T-Rex couldn't give a shit. Alright, they've both been tranquilized now, so they can go back where they freaking well belong. Acknowledging asset collection request. Asset requiring collection. So I can't believe the, t the bloody tornado didn't come anywhere near this, and yet... Oh, look at that, they're broken. You can get on your bike and fix some of this stuff, thank you. Yes, I'm aware the shelves are open, I'm playing with them now. Right, so... Now, 
I'll do the path just to make sure the path through I should say just to make sure everything is actually fixed because this game likes to leave smoking ruins without telling you there's something wrong with them. So that tornado was so annoying. I'm going to go down here and do the uh, fix. The fix for the cheat. I say cheat, it's not really a cheat. Right, so we get some fence. It doesn't really matter what sort of fence it is. And you know, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get the idea, right? So, what you do is take forever. How's the star rating doing, by the way? Um, could be worse. Could be a lot worse. We're doing alright, I think. Generally, these guys, these utter escape artists, are fine. I just don't understand how it blew the fence out over there. It makes no sense. How's Mr. T Rex? Mrs. T Rex, I should say. There we go. Kensauruses? Kensaurids? They're not Kensaurids, they're Stegosaurids, aren't they? Right. Yes, stickers for it. Everyone's on. Uh, anyway, back to this. What you do? I don't mean to be that. But... Keep doing that. You basically create a lattice work of fences. And then when the next tornado comes, tornadoes will aim for the most densely packed area that's packed with buildings because they're looking for maximum damage. But like as a general area, not like they're specifically building. It's not like they're hunting down buildings. Vicious tornadoes on the hunt. No, um, I hope dinosaurs are well enough. What they'll do is head towards... The idea is to make them head towards this pack of fencing. And destroy the fencing it doesn't matter and you just don't fix it the game can only handle so much damage at a time so if a tornado shows up and destroys these fences and I've just realised I wanted to go uh, do all these feeders before they all run out, didn't I? Um, delete the one that's there, put in a new one. There, there, put in a new one. I haven't got any choice with this one. That's just shit happens. Uh, they last quite a while anyway, and they don't need replacing just yet. But we'll now get the guys. 
focus on replacing these ones. I say replacing, replenishing, I should say. That one's still buggered. We'll do a nice healthy regular feeder for these ones. There's the cotton. That's the conifers. It needs to just be rotten wood. To be fair, they can live with a fancy feeder. Let's uh, get a moment. Fix the, I'll say fix it to replenish it. All the while forgetting to dig. Um, this one, this one, and do those two enclosures and get rid of that. Uh, right. Now I'm probably going to make this box bigger because I think it's not big enough at present. Now, obviously, I've got the money to do this. won't matter. It's a little bit more troublesome if you've not got the money. Alright, dinosaur threat, who's attacking my rangers? Oh, armoured dinosaurs, man. Pain in the butt. Anyway, left on. Obviously one of the problems with this is getting that five stars with the dinosaurs you picked at the beginning. And I wonder if it compensates for that. This is the most time consuming thing in the world, obviously. And it depends how bored you get. Whether you think it's a good idea. I'm going to finish doing this. And we'll come back in a moment. Um, when I decide to make a dinosaur or two. Our disease. And while I fix diseases, obviously. Confirming task. But when I decide to make some dinosaurs, um, we can come back. And uh, it will be more interesting, and hopefully we'll be getting to five stars once we start making some dinosaurs. And once we start paying attention to what their ranking is, rating is, when we took them out in the first place. Um, Here's a card for us. Uh, you'll see you later.